Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are taking a quick look at the performance of Kerbal Space Program 2 to give a rough idea if you are going to be able to run the game on your system. First, my PC specs. I have an Ryzen 5 2600 with 16GB of RAM. My graphics card is the 8GB variant of the AMD RX 580, which has roughly similar performance to a 1060 from Nvidia. Both are below minimum requirements. We are running the game on 1080p with the lowest settings and recording it with OBS. First off, building a simple rocket and flying it. As you can see, the VAB runs just fine. But as soon as we get on the launch pad, we are just below 30 FPS, which is not good, but it's just enough for a game like KSP. But as soon as we launch and look down on the Kerbal Space Center, it becomes a power point. Also, turning the recording off didn't help. Interestingly, it's only bad when we look down on Kerbin. If we look up into the sky, it runs just fine. The rendering of the planet's surface seemed to be a big issue, which is something the developers are already working on, according to the latest performance-related community post. Luckily, the map seems very usable. And as a second test, fly we are flying a simple plane over the Kerbal Space Center. The frame rate stays mostly under 20 FPS, which is a pretty bad experience, but if you're willing to endure pain, it's at least doable, I guess. But keep in mind that these were very small and simple crafts. Bigger crafts with multiple engines are going to amplify these problems, but the developers are already working on improving their fuel flow system. To summarize, yes, you can play KSP2 even without reaching the minimum specs. But it's not that great of an experience. The game is not going to look good and the performance will be barely bearable. But this is hopefully improving soon to offer at least an okay-ish playing experience on less powerful hardware. I hope I could help you figure out if you're going to be able to run KSP2 on your PC. If you have any questions just write a comment down below and I'm hoping to do a more detailed analysis and more KSP2 content in future videos. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.